Alright, so we have an iPhone 10 here with a boot loop problem. Or, I'm sorry, it's, it's no power after a DIY screen repair. And this has actually been happening fairly frequently because of the ingenious uh, iPhone um, design. So, what's been going on is after a DIY screen repair, there is no power. Uh, and I I have a good idea of what the problem is, but I just kind of want to show you guys what's going on with these things, all right? And I only know this because guess guess why? Because I did it myself. After a data recovery job, I put the phone back together, and then the phone was dead, and I was like, what the what the effort? And then I finally figured it out. Um, but I don't think uh, I was the first to discover this. Actually, somebody on one of the I, after after I figured it out myself, I uh, did a search, and sure enough, somebody else um had posted this problem a while back. Alright, uh. right, so like I was saying, I think I have an idea of what the problem is. Okay, so let's just um, take every disconnected battery. Uh, let's see, can you guys see this shit? Okay, let's disconnect a battery and take off the flex. Here. And let's go under the microscope. Take a look. See what's going on here. All right. So what has been going on? Okay. So let's see. So what the problem is? You can already see that this is the issue right here. But basically, there's a little bit of a there's a capacitor here that <laughs> I'll show I'll show you what's going on. There's a capacitor here that I don't know if you can see it or not. But so this is basically how how the Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, right here. Okay, so this is how... I'll kind of zoom back out a little bit, alright? See it? Alright, so this is how the screen gets put back together, alright? And what's been going on is that this... It just happens to be that this this little metal part right here is... I mean, you know, you've been taught to kind of like put it down like this. Well, the problem is that this little metal piece is shorting out this capacitor here and uh, and it's this little guy right here that is shorting out unfortunately and I'm pretty sure that's the problem right now but basically that power line I think it's like a 1.8 volt SD RAM line or something is it SD? yeah I think it's yeah I think it's like a 1.8 volt SD RAM line it's gonna cause the phone to go to crack alright so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and put it back uh, and that should solve the issue, alright? Oopsies. So, by the way, this thing is really, 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 really tiny. So, it's not going to be, uh, you don't want to, like, slice that thing either. But, I'm just going to use my tweezers and kind of pop that sucker loose. All right, so I'm going to use my multimeter to diode mode it. Just make sure the short is gone. All right, short is gone. I'm getting 0.28 on the um, 0.28 volts, 29 volts on the multimeter, and I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Um, So you need steady hands to put this sucker back and a, and some really good you know, really tiny soldering iron. Uh I'm using a JBC NASE one B, I think that's what it is. JBC NASE one B, alright? Okay, so let's, let's see what cap this is, and then we'll we'll figure out what to put back there. All right, so 
this is actually a uh, four microfarad four volt zero two zero one capacitor. I don't even have any of those, but I'm probably gonna buy some. Uh, so I'm just gonna take it from a donor board here. Since I got a bunch of these. Goes, speed gentle. There it goes. Okay, so let's take this away, put our board back, and let's try not to burn this thing. I think I'm gonna put some cap on over it actually, because I don't really want to burn the flux here. Yeah, there it goes. So let's see. So that doesn't look like the best capacitor, but I think it'll work. Oh shit. Let's just do it one by one, one end at a time. So we'll just turn this this way so that you can't really see that it's missing a side pad, it's okay. Alright, that is back in business. Uh, let's diode mode it just to double check to make sure that that line is still good. So basically red to ground. Uh, top of this is ground and then black to the point and it says 0.28 volts. Okay, so we're still good. So let's um, let's do a little bit of that. Clean that up with some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. Then you know what? I think I'm gonna like try to like future-proof this again. Um, and I'm gonna do that by like just kind of putting a little cat on on it so it doesn't short it out just a little bit I just want a little piece I don't really want to make it too uh, conspicuous so I'll just cut a little piece out and I'll just kind of stick it just like that all right my fingernails are hurting okay oh that's cut that's not good okay, I'll just do it this way Got all this flux all over it. So I'll just do like this and hopefully maybe that'll help a little bit. If not, maybe they'll do it again and send it back to us. No, I'm kidding. I don't want them to send it back to us. So I'll just kind of do that and that that should kind of like, that should kind of hold it, you know, from shorting it out right there. All right. So, so let's test it and make sure this thing is working now. And, uh, yep. Okay. 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 So let's put this thing back. Um, okay. All right. Now let's power this mother up. You can see the ammeter here. The blue part is what we're focused on. Five. It's always me. Five volts. So. Point one five. Point one five. Battery might be completely drained or something, but it's gonna power up. There it goes. See it. So we are back in business, and after a little bit of charge, this should go up to about two amps or so, 1.8 amps or something like that. After a little while, I think the, the battery is just completely dead right now. So, anyways, so we're back in business, and so that's how you fix uh, iPhone 10. Um, no power repair after a DIY screen repair. Uh, thanks for watching. There it goes, 1.86 amps now. So it's fully charging now. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this channel. And I wanted to promote our online micro soldering course. Um, we have it hosted at udemy.com and it's 
at this point it's four hours of video instruction um, the reviews are pretty good um, and we talk about everything from the basics uh, of, of an iPhone logic board um, and then we have a section on ZXW tools um, we have a little section about how to set up your hot air rework station your micro soldering um, station and how to use diode mode uh, the third part is the three most common repairs which is no touch no backlight no charge and the fourth part is all about data recovery so um, if you go through our website it's a hundred bucks and some people say that learning online is not the best way of doing things or you can't learn micro soldering online I beg to differ um, I don't know about you guys but I started watching YouTube videos when I first started about three years ago and that's how I learned it um, and not only that but you know you go to a live course some people like live courses but not everybody has three thousand dollars to spend on a live course right so um, and then yes you're right you can go to YouTube and watch all these videos um, but you're not gonna when people make these videos they don't go from A to Z they usually start from somewhere in the middle because they assume that you watch something earlier on or one of their earlier videos so this course is all-encompassing it has everything from A to Z um, to help you get started in micro soldering and we are adding stuff um, on a weekly maybe monthly basis and we're, we're gonna just gonna keep adding to this thing and um, so if you want to get started just I mean you can also take a class but uh, you know to get your feet wet I think this is the best thing to do right here and I vouch for it. Um, thanks for watching the video. I was also going to say, um, in order to buy it with a discount, $50 discount, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then it's going to be the first item on here. You click on buy Udemy, and they'll give you the $50 off. Thanks.